What's good, Fight World? He's got some tape uh, that I saw this morning. I think it came out yesterday of some sparring going on and some instruction going on between Carissa Shields and Chris Cyborg. Carissa Shields being the Olympic gold medalist and the uh, up and coming women professional woman professional boxer. I think she's out of Flint, Michigan. Somebody from Michigan was going to tell me wrong <laughs> that she's from Grand Rapids or something. But wherever she's from, man, she's from Michigan. And man, she's a very, very great fighter uh, coming up. And Chris Cyborg, most people know who she is. Now, I'm a big fan. I'm a, you know, I'm a boxing fan, number one. And I don't, so I don't really do a lot of videos on MMA other, unless it crosses over to boxing. But I'm a fan of women. And not just in a way that, you know, I think a woman is a nice looking and, you know, I put her on the end of the videos. The reason I put them at the end of the videos is because I think that women, you know, for a lot of men is where you get half your strength from. Either your daughter, your mother, you know, somebody either working hard to make a living to provide for them or there's somebody that supports you and teaches you the way of the world. And, you know, for us men, we all come from women. So at the end of the day, man, I think we always need to show appreciation and support for them not be abusive to them and, you know, support them however we can, you know, without being a simp. I know that. But, you know, anyway, that said, man, that's why I always have, a fe you know, females at the end of the video, man, because I always want to acknowledge the beauty and the strength of women and women boxers in particular. You know, I'm not really into women's boxing that much. Uh, other than, you know, when like Ann Wolf and those guys were into it and I'll check it out every once in a while. But uh Coach Shelton Harris really put me down on women's MMA, man. And those chicks are real vicious. So <laughs> it's like the ver reverse for me. I like women's MMA more than I like women's boxing. But I like, I think, you know, MMA for men is like the NASCAR of uh, fighting. But anyway, man, listen to what they have to say, man. And I'll come back at the end. And uh, they talk about a lot of things like what Chris Cyborg is going to do next with uh, hopefully fighting Cecilia Brockus. So here you go. Right now, Cecilia Brockus is pound for pound at 147. And that would be a heck of a matchup be her, uh, uh, between her and Chris. Th that would be a really good fight. And that fight is up in the air. It wouldn't be like... Cecilia Brock is what just happened in the bag, but long as Chris is in shape and she gets the boxing down and like really focus on it, that would be a very, very competitive. No, it's really hard when you're from MMA because you have a lot of things you have to train, like mix up everything, you know, have to train Jiu Jitsu, you cannot yeah. focus on one thing. Mm -hmm. But I know, imagine if one year just training boxing, you know, I think it'd be, it'd be really nice. You know, I'm very interested maybe one day you'll if you train. So, Yo, what's up guys? Sorry about that. I had to let the phone recharge. But we're gonna touch back on that question really quick. For the for the boxing purists that watched the video of you and Clarissa sparring today that were critical of the sparring, what would you have to say for them? You know, a lot of things I like to try when I'm doing the day, I, I try to fight just Muay Thai, just Jiu Jitsu, just wrestling, boxing. And I think you went training separate things and training people from the other other sports, I think you learn more because they have a lot of experience than me. And then, you know, you have to try. I always think one thing you have to try, you cannot be scared to do something. And you know, I love my job and I want to be better, you know, I want to get getting better and learn every day. And better than Clarice, you know, for teaching me, you know, what to do, you know, and teaching me, punch me, and you know, make me move my head and learn every day. I think these people is a weak mind, you know, little mind don't like to learn things. So Clarissa, you'll see, you see a lot of MMA fighters, and especially women, it seems like the tendency is, is that they'll still train their striking at an MMA gym instead of, you know, cross training at a boxing gym. What do you think the reason is for some of those athletes maybe not just committing to learning boxing for the sake of boxing, you know? Do you understand the question? Mm -hmm. Saying some people, will, they'll, they'll train, maybe they'll be in Vegas or they'll be at a place where there's some really famous boxing gyms and boxing will be the worst part of their game. But rather than going into the boxing gym, you'll see fighters, instead of doing like what Chris did and hiring or bringing out or working with, high-level boxing athletes, you know, they'll, they'll just kind of stay in their own little circles. And so I'm just saying, what do you think the reason for athletes or women athletes not wanting to kind of mix in with other athletes? What are some of the reasons that would happen? Well, well honestly, you know, just being completely honest, a lot of women are too sensitive 
uh, I don't make you I... sign the contract after yeah. training. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I'm just too sensitive. You know, it's just like, yeah. you know, a, a, you, a guy show up to a gym and they want to work, whoever want to work, then we can work, you know. But women are like, I'm not fighting her because she said this about me on the internet or I want to fight her in a real fight and I don't like her personally or, 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 or as a person. And they don't really think of it as, as being a sport that we're all at a disadvantage in. You know, we're, we're all not being treated fairly, especially in women's boxing. Uh, you know, we all have to freaking make our own deals and figure out which path we're going to take to become women. At the end of the day, it's all about am I getting better, you know? So I think that people being critical of your boxing, I've seen people being critical, but nobody's saying, oh, you know, Chris just went there and just got her ass kicked. They saw that Chris got some really, really good hands, which they already thought anyway, but I don't think they realized from people that was there in person. Go get his partner for her. Just yeah. <laughs> get his for her. If you guys would have seen the adjustment, man, and really, it would be straight. So now, so now the question is, is, is there a chance that maybe someday, somewhere, somehow, in a in a far galaxy, way off away, mm-hmm. that we could maybe one day see Clarissa Shields in an MMA fight? Yes, yeah. but I'm not fighting at 145. I'm not fighting at 135. I'm 160 or better, once again. You know, lowest I can get is 154, but uh, with, if I was to ever transition to MMA, it wouldn't be my first fight fighting at 154. I would have to be at 160, 168. So right now, I don't think it's possible for me to fight in MMA. There's only two different ways. Three. Yeah, three it's now. It's like 150. No? No. All the women are 135? Yeah, I can't make 135. <laughs> <laughs> I have oh. to cut my butt off. Okay, guys, we're gonna get we're gonna have to run. But uh, Clarissa Shields, if people want to watch your next fight, is it gonna be televised and is is it safe to okay. make that public? Yeah, it's gonna be on Showtime. And Chris, your next fight's gonna be July 29th. If people want to watch that, how do they get it? How do they gonna watch it? It'll be on the high. UFC 214 pay per view. Yeah. All right, guys, thank you very much. Make sure you follow at Clarissa Shields at Chris Cyber. Please like and share the vi- the video. Thank you very much.